So what we need to do in our preventive maintenance for each piece of equipment that you have out there is working on one of three maintenance methods. So the maintenance methods available that you have to pick between, in some cases you can argue you can do a combination, but either you can operate an equipment to break down. If you want to do your essential care, you can call it a maintenance method too. But between these three, you have to, in addition to the essential care, you need to pick one. Either I operate the equipment to break down, I do fixed time maintenance, meaning I replace it on a, on a regular interval, or I do condition-based maintenance. I, I find the problem and when I find it, I fix it, right? So now how I think about this, I, each piece of equipment in your plant, as we're speaking right now, is running in one of those three or a combination, possibly the condition based together with, with fixed time or something like that. Some people do that. They say they inspect it, but then they, when we're down once a year, we change all the belts or something like that. So I think about, well, if I'm going to pick this and I go through the documentation, I'm going to say, okay, can I do operate to break down this piece of equipment? Well, often in my world, that's hard to do, right? Uh, it's too expensive. Fixed time maintenance, well, I don't know the life. Well, then I know condition-based maintenance. And it, then I implement condition-based maintenance. If I can't technically do that, if I can't do that, uh, the condition base, technically I can't inspect, then I have, I'm back to operate to breakdown or fixed time, I have to pick, you know, between pest and cholera kind of thing. Yes, fixed time is like, I, I change it out every six months. I'm, I'm gonna replace oil every six months. Or I'm gonna replace uh, something on a fixed time, just every six months, every two years, rebuild it, whatever. So if you put all this together logically and if we use the fairly developing period together with our, with our different maintenance methods. So if you think about a random unpredictable failure, we don't know the life of the equipment, but we do have a failure developing period. So I don't know when the failure is gonna happen, but I do have a failure developing period. I'm probably gonna do condition-based maintenance, makes sense. And I don't need these seven different patterns. I just need to know if I can predict it or not. If it is random, I don't know when it's gonna happen. And I don't have a failure developing period. Well, I don't know when it's gonna happen. I don't have a failure developing period. I'm lost, right? I'm gonna to have to operate to break down. I'm not gonna have a choice. What I can do is I can plan the work. I can't schedule it, but I can plan it. I can get the part tools. I can get the, the, the safety instructions. I can get how to do the job, everything ready. Put it right next in the box, right to a piece of equipment. So when it happens, I can do it. At least I planned it, I didn't schedule it. Um, if I do know the failure developing, if I know the life somewhat when the piece of equipment and I have a failure developing period, like our car tires, typically we do condition-based maintenance unless it's very expensive to do that. There's some instances where we know the life, but it's very expensive to do condition-based maintenance. But for the most part, we can, if we, even if we know roughly what the life is, we typically do condition-based maintenance because it typically doesn't take a lot of time. If we know the life and we don't have a fa failure developing period, then, we typically do fixed time maintenance. Say, okay, let's just do whatever so often, right? So this is conceptually how we need to think about it when we set up our PM. So this, this is an important fun, fundamental knowledge that we need to have clear in our head when we go into documenting and setting up tasks that we're gonna talk about in a few weeks, next webinar. So if when I start selecting it though, this seems complex, but I, I used to ask these questions. Can I operate your breakdown? Well, if it breaks down, the plant stops, too expensive. Fixed time maintenance, well, I don't know the life. So therefore I'm left with condition main, condition based maintenance. Depending on the industry, process plants are probably up 80, 85% condition monitoring. Some other plants, the way you can kind of stop and start quickly, you may be more like 50% in condition based maintenance, depending on the equipment, in my experience.